played Iowa a couple years ago. I uh, remember they're extremely um, well coached, tough Big Ten team. Uh, the biggest thing I remember is we got the win, thank God. But um, you know those guys that we played against two years ago in, in the Bahamas, they're all two years stronger, two years smarter, they're all better players. So it's definitely going to be a battle tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit different for you, the, the height differential between UNC, Asheville, and, and Iowa. Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, we're good at making adjustments. You know, Adams is a seven footer, and they have some some great shots coming off the bench in, in the guards position. So you know, it's something that we all take pride in in our program. I'm just you know, being the undersized team that can uh, handle the bigger guys. How much do you want to get over to the hump here? It's been such an issue for you guys. I know you're tired of talking about it. We're tired of asking it. I'm sure you want to get to that sweet 16. Oh, uh, definitely. You want to get over it probably as much as you want to stop uh, asking us about it. But yeah, but it's, you know, this is the game everyone's been talking about for the whole year. And um, you know, just finally being able to play in the game is just exciting for us. And, you know, just not being, not playing in fear of you know making the same mistakes we made last year or the shortcomings of the years before. That's something that we have to just put to the side and as soon as we get on the court, do you, feel, on basketball. do you feel haunted by this round in a sense? It's been a, it's been a big problem. Do you feel haunted at all or no? A little bit, a little bit. You know, we would, we would have, you don't like being known as that team that you know always get, you know, gets, has got past the first, uh, first weekend. But um, you know, it's just something we have to deal with. You know, we hold ourselves accountable to that. People have their own opinions, and you know, people saying, you know, why haven't you got past the first weekend? Why haven't you got past this, uh, your second game? Just means they expect great things of us, just like how we expect ourselves. So what have you learned from the early exits? Is there anything that stands out to you? I mean, each each exit has just been different, and. Um, Nothing really stands out. I mean, the fact that we lost is the thing that stands out the most. Jay Wright says you guys are a dangerous team in this tournament, but you can beat anyone and you can lose to anyone. That is kind of dangerous in a sense because it could be, in a sense, unpredictable. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's how the tournament is. I mean, I think we saw from uh, the game yesterday, you know, the Michigan State game, you know, nobody, I, I, especially myself, I didn't think they were going to lose. And uh, the Northern Iowa game, no one thought the kid was going to hit the half court shot. So, you know, we, know, we all know it's March and anything can happen. But, you know, we can't worry about, you know, all the uh, outside components. We can focus on what we can do 94 by 50 feet. Iowa. 